Hi guys and fellow YouTubers. Uh, my name is Phil. Um, I'm a commercial fisherman in the United Kingdom in Devon and Cornwall. Um, I felt impelled to give a review on these wellies. These, these are a pair of uh, lovely blue wellies. These are Guy Cottons, active grip. Um, they retail in the UK for £48.99 including VAT. In the food industry, you don't, you don't pay VAT on uh, Wellingtons, especially safety Wellingtons with a, 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 still t a toe cap. Um, as you can see, the Guy Cotton, a well known make, they're blue. Um, they have a composite uh, toe um, and a what they call an active grip, very good grip on all surfaces and specifically designed for the food industry. Um, now I purchased these in October last year, 2019. Um, I've been commercially fishing on a fishing boat uh, in Cornwall. Uh, it's been I specifically bought these boots for that job. Um, a couple of things that attracted me to them was A, they were Guy Cotton, everyone knows Guy Cotton. Thought you can't go wrong with Guy Cotton. Hmm. Um, and then uh, the, the grip, I didn't really pay too much attention to, but I thought, well, it must be good grip for the boats. Um, the composite toe was another attraction to these boots, because um, a lot of us, uh, we moan about steel toe caps and how cold they are in the winter. Um, and another thing was obviously the kick-off, a little kick-off uh, for your heel on the back, getting in and out of the boots. Now, they started off okay, um, and I have, I have, I've been wearing them Oh, you know, into well, I had a bit of an off season in, in March for a few months, but basically I've been wearing them for eight months now, so I've given them a good test of time. Obviously, we don't work every day, got bad weather and stuff. Um, but there's a couple of issues I found with these boots, and I think it's important that, that they get feedback on these stuff because I speak to a lot of fishermen, and, and, and really everyone moans about their boots. What's going on? No one, no one says anything. They just put up with it. Um, I'm not saying these are bad boots. For some people, they're going to be good boots. But for me personally, I've had to move on from these. Um, I thought I bought these in the right position. You know, right thing. Actually, you can see some fish scales on there. Look, the sardine and pilchard fish scales from Cornwall. Anyway, um, what I found, I, 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 this year I like the boots. The, the big thing I found with the the grip, I don't know if you can see the grip there, it's quite knobbly isn't it? Well, this grip, we use quite small mesh, but we're, we're fishing at the moment, 10mm um, mesh, and when we're in the pound, actually bring the, bring the nets back into the pound, it's quite a manual job, but you're actually standing on the net. Now I found when the net was going in or out of the pound, or we're adjusting the net or anything, this, this grip actually gets caught in the net. Um, so that was a big learning curve for me. Um, admittedly, these boots were not probably maybe not these boots' faults. But, you know that might be my fault for buying the wrong boots for that type of application. But that was a concern straight away. But I, I dealt with it. I just managed with it. Um, I found that the insoles were very bland, really. And I started to find they were quite uncomfortable to wear for long periods. Sometimes we, you know, we're working. You know, it can only be from a few hours to you know like eight, eight, eight or twelve hours on our feet. So they've got to be reasonably comfortable. So I found the inside soles and I thought, oh, these aren't very comfortable. So then I ended up buying some gel insoles off Amazon. That helped a bit. Um, but over time, I found more and more these boots are getting uncomfortable. And what it is, I, I, I've got size 9 UK feet. Um, I, you know, I'm, sort of, you know, I'm not a you know, big build. I've got normal size feet. I wouldn't say I've got wide feet. But on the inside of my toes here, both on the inside of my toes, started to hurt and then gradually gradually over time skin, hard skin build up here and there's like a little knobby bit on your toe here on your feet here so I was getting hard skin here and hard skin here and hard skin here and hard skin here and even though you had a few days off it wasn't really healing you know it wasn't really getting better and more and more and more it was getting, it was getting more and more painful and you getting more of this hard skin build up and I thought Craw, crumbs I'm going to get bloody corns at this rate um, so anyway, I, I felt I had to give some feedback because you know, there's not much feedback on the internet about them and if you've got wide feet, it's a no-go. Um, I have to have um, 
steel toe caps for my job. Um, I know some fishermen don't, some commercial fishermen don't use steel toe caps. Uh, I was attracted to the composite toe cap, but very disappointed with Guy Collins boots, to be honest. Um, but, uh, mid-range boot, what can I say? They really hurt my feet, and I, I really think that they would have damaged my feet in the long run. Um, like, but it happened to both feet. Um, but anyway, let, let's get away from that. I just want to just share with you that, that, that information, whether that's any helpful to you out there or if it's not. Anyway, if you like your saw, give me a thumbs up or a share. That's what all YouTubers say, I don't know what it means. Um, but I will, I will do another review, even though, even though I'm not really into this kind of thing, being a commercial fisherman and all. I've just bought some new boots, which are extra tough boots. I bought these on eBay. Uh, a lot more money than these, but I thought, you know what, it's your feet, you know, and, I, and I'm in my boots all day, every day, so I've got to be comfortable with my feet. And I did look on Fishing News, and there was some people mentioned how uncomfortable boots were, and the Dunlops and other boots, um, and they were all talking about Chamonix and stuff, but they don't do steel toe caps. So I looked at Extra Tough, I've gone, I've actually bought this on eBay, these, uh, so I had to pay import duty on eBay, came in about 125 but these are the Legacy 2s. These have composite toes. Um, well, I'll see, I'll review those and see how we get on with those, so I'll talk about those another time. Um, but I'm looking forward to the wearing those after wearing these, I'll tell you. Anyway, hope that was helpful. See you all on, ride on. Ciao.